Greetings, salutations. Hi, hello. It's another good old Jake video here. Jog, as I'm calling it. I don't even know if I'm going to change it or not. We'll see. Hope everybody's good. I hope you're well. I got no label for, for a series on this one. No season, episode, blah, bitty, bloop, bloop, bop, bop, part, whatever. Uh, just wanted to tackle the good old popular phrase right now. No one wants to work. Uh, might talk about this more in the future, but... I uh, want to do a little bit of a different thing here. i got some notes to, to try to guide this a little bit better. Um, but, you know, tackle this phrase and why, uh, you know, these cope reactionary uh, buffoons keep keep saying stuff like this. Um, you know, people are quitting because it's not worth it. There's no reason for them to go to work. If their basic needs can't be met with, you know, the unconscionable level of effort being put in, especially in America. Uh, I've heard it called American work ethic recently, which is... You know, you hear about Protestant worth it. Like, no, it's Stockholm Syndrome, and you hate leisure, and you're scared of reflection time. It makes sense to enjoy your purpose, but to, like, actually want to do nothing but to be the, defined by the job that you are. And, of course, by these jobs that we all have that aren't giving anywhere near enough to what we need. You see the effects of people not wanting to work anymore, right? With businesses closing everywhere, or they're functioning barely with low staff. They got signs in the window, right? Blaming the staff. Oh, you know, uh, because somebody called off and all the people quit and they want so much. And the lazy millennial Gen Z woke. <laughs> it's, it's. <sighs> people are physically adults, man. I, I just wonder what how much we really are just not not adults at all um it this is just absurd you know people's livelihoods can't be met and uh it's 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 intimate blaming of of people who are quitting um i, I mean i don't know about anybody who's an american listening to this but in where i'm living which is a mildly populated small town suburbia it's uh kind of suburbia kind of not antiquish town some you know it's 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 your classic midwest you know United States, you know, whatever. It, there's nothing special about it. Um, however, when it comes to just anything, any interactions with all kinds of things that we need in our society, these are services, goods, whatever it is, that we have to have for our livelihoods for one another. And it's relied upon by these little green rectangles that we interact with each other that are completely just flown in the wind and all kinds of ridiculous stuff are going on with it, including not increasing how much we get with the actual output of these jobs that we're putting so much time into. Um, so in my experience, like there's lots of things around us that are just going to lesser quality. They're going to the word I can't say, you know? <laughs> uh, and there's a reason for that, and that's because people are giving up. People don't want to do this, you know. People don't want to have to go above and beyond for stuff that's not even going to give them the bare minimum for what they need. I mean, how insulting is that to their being? I think after the pandemic, people got an idea of how, like, you know, the government can actually function, like how important it actually is, not just with spreading vaccine stuff, but the actual information, and then the stimulus checks as well. That what, what That's, you know, how government assistance is actually a good thing. It provides, you know... Uh, stability and uh, growth even too um, but things like inflation you know record profits are, are getting in the way of us actually appreciating and ingesting and normalizing these ideas you know everybody's sucked into wage slavery at, with all of this wealth being accumulated at the top and there's no no bigger questions being asked you know and uh, except you know people are starting to ask themselves why should they why should they work for a life they can barely live you know what what is this um, you see sanctioned like euthanasia going on in certain countries they're trying to sponsor. This is not good. This is not a good sign for Japan has a plummeting. It's one thing to have a decreased population growth in uh, rate. It's one thing to have a, you know, that, that's fine. It's just they're having a significant decline in population growth. And it's not because people are choosing willfully, you know, in times of peace with things going good, uh, you know, not to do these things. And it's not just Japan either. Um... So, yeah, I mean, no one wants to work for you. That, that's, the, that's the bottom line. That's what needs to be said. These people are acting like this. They need to be told. Uh, it's uncomfortable. It's awkward. But, you know, allowing these things to continue is, is it's going to it's going to corrode, you know, um, being temporary, un temporarily uncomfortable will be worth the long run of the, you know, um, 
the growing strength that'll come with that, in my opinion. Uh, what incentive is there to work? You know, if the time you put in won't give you the absolute minimum of what you need, far under it, actually. It's exhausting, and it's not worth it. And it's it's time for it's time for a revolution. It's it's time to stop acting like what is happening to us is something separate from us something we can't control something we're not deserving to stop to, to, to actually going to control all under and tackle and deal with and it's not just because we think any anyone thinks that they're the person that can figure it out sorry I'm taking a sip of water i think it's a matter of the fact that we all want to rely on each other to build that network of replacing whatever poor <laughs> excuse for a democracy or society we have, especially in America, things need to change. Things need to change in a way so significant on a systemic, total level. It requires us to unite in a in a truly profound way, um, in one that which I do I believe is not impossible. It's not even close to impossible. I, I actually have very very strong faith that that can actually pull through um but requirements have to be met about things that are going on and discussions have to be had and topics and ideas brought up and that includes bringing back things like communism the discourse of the communism at least into american society um you know uh as the channel has you know uh, i think in other videos i start going to more about what exactly it is that you know defines me as a communist or a marxist um, but I think for now, I just want to tackle this one topic. So I think for now, everything's good. Thank you again. Uh, hope it, hope you guys are good. Hope you're well. Take it easy. Peace. See you around. And, uh, yeah, thanks.